Hi, I'm John Fisher. Whoa, who's that freaking guy? Whose voice is that? By the way, not AI generated. That is really Oakland A's owner, John Fisher, speaking in case you've never heard his voice. By now, we're all familiar with his recent mini media tour where he sort of went around explaining his logic behind moving the franchise from Oakland to Las Vegas. I do not care about what he said in any of these interviews because we all know it's a bunch of crap. Liars, liars gonna lie. The real question many of us have is this. Why didn't he want to be recorded? No video or audio of the piece he did with NBC Bay Area? That is pretty suspect. I think I do have an answer for that question though. And it goes back to the video I found of John Fisher promoting his stupid charter school scam or scheme, sorry, scheme, not scam, wink. Once you actually watch this video and hear his voice, you'll understand why it is he did not want to be on camera. A quick preface on what I am about to show you. This comes from one of John Fisher's stupid charter scheme nonsense organizations that he's all about apparently. The entire thing though, it's really a front for him and like-minded pricks to make money developing schools that usually go out of business. This has nothing to do with kids or education or anything like that, but we'll discuss these topics a little bit more as we progress. Another thing I do want to say, this video is about 10 years old, maybe a little over 10 years old, so I'm not going to rip on the editing or the quality of it. That's sort of unfair. That was the technology we did have at the time, but enough talk. Let's go to the tape. Hi, I'm John Fisher. Hold on. I want you to watch that again. Hi, I'm John Fisher. Come on, guy, you should be able to get through your name without needing an edit there. And no, don't don't give me this. Oh, it was a jump cut. Why would you use a jump cut in this situation? That is preposterous. So, yeah, not a great start for John Fisher overall. I am chair of the Kip Foundation. Kip is in. Ignoring that jarring blur transition. What is up with the angle here? Is the person who's filming this sitting down on a chair? Like, why is it this peculiar top up? I think that maybe the person who is filming this really wanted to have their banner in full in the shot, but that is probably not a good reason for this, I think, questionable directorial choice on angle. KIPP is a network of charter schools around the United States. We currently have 125 schools serving 39,000 kids. Um, you can see that Fisher has no idea of the number of schools as he's talking and approaching that part of the sentence. So what they did is they cut, they give him the numbers, and then they resumed filming. But they didn't edit it that first part where he looks confused. They kept that take and then did another take with the numbers. Also, aren't you the chairman of this organization? How do you not know how many schools are under its watch? Great leadership, John. Almost all underserved kids in 21 metro areas and states around the country. Again, basic information about an organization he chairs and it took him three different takes to spit out all of the details. We're talking seven consecutive seconds and he couldn't make it through in one take. How is that even possible? I'm also co-chair of the Charter School Growth Fund uh, Board. The Charter School Growth Fund is an organization that funds high performing charter uh, management organizations around the country. I Was that even a sentence? Because it just feels like he used the words charter school growth, fund, and organization over and over again. Also, there's a moment in this portion of the video I would like to highlight. I have never seen a person make a face like that when discussing something they're supposedly passionate about. That is wild. Let's watch a little bit more, shall we? I've been involved in school reform for about the last 20 years. This sounds like a lie and not a particularly convincing one initially got involved through uh, the Alliance for School Choice, working on creating choices for kids, primarily underserved kids around the country to have more choices, as well as working on having schools be able to compete with each other 
uh, to try and serve these kids. Okay, can we talk about Fisher's pedestrian vocabulary here? This is a man that allegedly went to Princeton and Stanford, but barely speaks at a fifth grade level. Please spare me, by the way, please spare me the, oh, he's just a man of the people using common language. And also spare me, he's just nervous on camera and doesn't know what to say. They edited the shit out of this video. Why not, I don't know, write a script on a piece of paper and hold it up by the phone you're filming it with? Or better yet, why doesn't Fisher know about his own organization? We're not talking about deep tracks here. This isn't a deep cuts presentation. This is a basic introduction he should know the details about. To me, and I think to many people watching, this is Fisher at his truest, in his truest form, a bumbling, incompetent idiot who doesn't know what's happening. What I would do uh, if I was giving you advice. Hold on, is this what you would do or are you giving us advice? Is to get involved, go and visit a school, uh, volunteer, start a school, go teach, contribute, but get involved. Oh, okay, it's pretty obvious why the A's relocation has been such a joke. This guy's a moron. I mean, no wonder why they don't want him speaking on camera. I'm tired of dealing with, let's just play out the rest of this crap but get involved. Center for Education Reform is a tremendous organization to do just that. They're doing great work all around the country, trying to get parents organized and to uh, get in front of legislators to convince them of the benefits of school choice and charter schools and school reform with the goal of providing a great education for uh, all kids around the country. All right, we need to talk about the elephant in the room, charter schools. Charter schools are bullshit. They are notorious for racial segregation and are a byproduct of the rich basically not wanting to pay their fair share of taxes to fund things like, I don't know, public education. What's more, Fisher can profit off charter schools because, as he said, they need to be built and he just happens to be a property developer. He doesn't give a shit about children or education or any of this. He's here to make himself money. After all, John Fisher is a man who went to private schools his entire life. If he really cared about students and education, why not create a fund that allows children of underserved communities to attend private schools where the differences in education quality are very tangible and very real? Or Fisher could stop bankrolling dumbass political causes, pay his fair share in taxes, and see that money go towards creating and sustaining a public education sector that flourishes. Of course, we all know that's not gonna happen. So why didn't Oakland A's owner John Fisher go on camera? Well, that's pretty obvious. He can't go five seconds without stumbling over himself and what he does manage to spit out is easily disprovable. How anyone can think a man unable to state his name and title in a single take is somehow honest and trustworthy is beyond me. What a joke. Anyway though, at least now you know what John Fisher sounds like, although the results are obviously not good for him. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis. This is the Touchback. Subscribe if you'd like. Hashtag sell the team. And as always, take it out to the 25.